my god, look where we are. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is so friggin' cool! Really got to concentrate a lot here. I really don't want to break their new bikes. <laughs> Gotta be very gentle and nice. Wow, it is rocky. Throttle seems so nice on this bike, so nice. The problem is with me coming out here is I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna spend a lot of money. Oh, because I'm definitely gonna buy one, but I'm excited to try the four stroke as well. Oh, where do they go? It rained heavily yesterday, so the soil's quite nice, but the rocks are very slip. Oh yeah! Villages just in the middle of nowhere. It's insane. Oh, good job we got the handguards. Oh, it's slippery. some power oh my god that was the biggest rock in my life just hit me in the head oh my god that was huge I think I just broke my helmet I need to keep a gap you know oh, oh that gave me a bit of concussion I can't believe the size of that let's uh, keep a little bit of distance This is such an experience. If I didn't do these silly YouTube videos, I'd never be here. Look at that in the distance. Wow. <laughs> Sean, you go in front because that guy just kicked up the biggest rock I've ever seen in my head. <laughs> Yes, buddy! Yes, yes, yes! Uh, I see some tracks going up a vertical rock face. Hopefully that's not us, is it? No, we're going straight past. Fine. Good, good. Ah, oh, Africa! My new favourite place for enduro. Oh, my God. Oh. 
So Sean in front, he races motocross. He's here from 999 Laser, I think. Uh, he's never done enduro before, but obviously he's going to pick it up nice and quick. Everyone's a pro, so. I mean, obviously Marvis is here, so we have a pro in the making. But, you know, it's going to take some time to get there. got to kind of get used to the terrain it's all new so you don't know like where's the grip where's not the grip he's on the 150 which I think is a very very fun bike he seems to be enjoying it my god he is just going for it very rutty. Okay, this definitely is lion country. Definitely. That PDS worked really well then. It's a lot of holes around. <laughs> Need to stop trying to keep up with everyone else's pace. Wow. Look at it. Ooh. This terrain, right, it's quite sketch. It changes from one corner to the next. You're just going along tidy speed and then, oh, there's a cavity. But so far, what I can tell you about this new 300, it runs absolutely amazing. It sounds amazing, it's smooth. Um, they've lowered the foot pegs by six mil and made them a bit fatter which kind of feels like my raptors now the feet in position on this bike is way better uh, I hate to say it but I, I like this way more than my TPI which is not often hear me say that since I love the TPI but I can see why they've made all these changes it just makes the bike just feel and run so much smoother and as I'm talking, I'm just realizing we're riding in Africa. Africa. It, it's just not sinking in yet until I see a rhino. Or we'll really put the bike to the test if we get chased by a lion. I mean, hopefully we'll be pushing then. Because uh, that could be quite scary, I suppose. <laughs> but it would put the bike to its test, wouldn't it? Wow, the rut. They really are bringing us on a trail to test these out, aren't they? Oh, we found a quarry. Oh, big rocks, big rocks. Oh, if I didn't mention, we're riding with a French previous world champion. That's nice. Oh, hey, you are sending it. This is good for you, the fast stuff. But like, you, you just absolutely sending it and then, oh, there's a cavity. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going up there where there's a woman and a donkey.
Maybe we'll do second here. That was quite grippy, that. Feel good? Yeah. Do you want to go first? Nice. Look at this. Crazy, plowing a field with cows. It's like going back in time. Mental. We are now like, I don't know, 2,000 feet or meters in elevation, like the Ears getting pretty thin. It's where they tested these bikes properly, like in the making of them, where Manny came here to test. And uh, it's good to see the elevation changes and how the bikes run, and there's no difference. They're running smooth. <laughs> They've also got these little fork things on the front mud guard to stop mud coming up and hitting you. There's so many little pieces on this bike that's just nice, nice little touches. I think the electronic power valve just seems so much smoother. I'm less scared of it. But saying that, I mean, it feels quite powerful, this. I'm in the slow map as well. I haven't even tried the fast map. Uh, not in this terrain anyway, it's nice and need the grip. But definitely with this new frame, Feel the um, wheels on the floor a lot more. So yeah, so far I'm loving it. And I'm probably gonna spend a lot of money when I get home. This is why they do it though, isn't it? Bring you out here so you have to spend all this money. the donkeys why is this chain strapped to his foot a bit mean <laughs> so cool. This is what it's about. Like I know I'm testing new bikes and stuff, but also like to have it here, where you get to just see different cultures is, it's just unreal. Absolutely unreal. Like I never really had a thought about coming to Africa and now it starts being one of my favorite places. It's just absolutely mega. I don't know how much of that you caught because uh, the GoPro decided to freeze. Love it when it does that. But anyway, we just did some hard stuff on the 150 and that was, I was pleasantly surprised how well it did to be fair. I'm really liking this bike. Like a lot. Until the trees are in your face. But these massive handguards are helping somewhat. Ow!
Oh, what we have here? downhills whoa okay this is deep in the wilderness isn't it Come on. What is this? This huge drop offs. Whoa. Do you know what though? Like, this does not stall. Oh, let's wait for the cows. Hey, don't hit me. Go around. Keep going. Fun little machine, this. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot harder work, right? But it makes you feel a lot more playful. a bit of power at the bottom end when you want to just blip it. This is cool, isn't it? Here you go. Brakes are good. Oh, I'm really liking this bike. Not enjoying getting fucking freaking soaking. This is cool. Oh, the brakes. The brakes are good. Problem is, just don't know what's around the corner. A hairpin. That's nice. Oh, 
Let's not go in there. That was that came out the blue. <laughs> this bike is so much fun. Oh man, on that kind of stuff, it's mega. Okay, we found a forest in the middle of nowhere. This is cool, this. I didn't realize we were riding woods. Now I do wish I had a 300. Oh, it's hard to get the pop on this. You gotta be in the right gear at the right time. Oh, look at this. Come on, baby, you got it. Oh. That's a lot of rocks. Whew. This is very cool. Like, very cool. I feel like I'm actually doing the Roof of Africa race, just saying. Although I guarantee it's a lot harder than what we're doing. Come on, let's have it! Oh, look where we are! Oh my god, my voice goes so high and annoying. Anyway, you know what I mean. We're somewhere cool. <laughs> South Africa, baby! Whoa. Wow, look at this. Mega. Oh, this is, this is something out of dreams. Ooh, animals. I think they're just cows though. But we'll just pretend they're wildebeest. Oh, big rocks. This is crazy terrain, this is. Like you just got to stick to the line, because if you leave the line, well, it's not good. I kind of don't want to ride at home anymore. I feel like just traveling, a wrong gear. I feel like just traveling around. Oh, oh little puppy. Okay. I don't know which line they took. You have to guess this one. Oh, what is this? Do you know what? I haven't got arm pump yet, and I usually get arm pump with the stock KTM suspension. That hasn't happened yet. And we've been riding for quite a long time. Whoa. Whoa. I bet on the roof of Africa race, they absolutely send this. Absolutely send it, but I don't know the way, so just following the red line, basically.
if you want a bike that makes you feel really playful on the trails get a 150 guarantee get a 150 they're so much fun I'm so surprised by what it can do. It's so much fun. <laughs> I just like feel like a different guy when I'm on it. It's so much fun. Oh my God. I'm glad no one wanted to swap with me. You're missing out boys. Rides are fun. Joe, it'd be really cool just bringing the adventure bikes here and just traveling across the country. That'd be mega. And getting the gear in a little bit better, you got to chug it up the steep stuff, but. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, had to be me! Whew. Do you know what? I was in the aggressive map as well. Let's not go in that again. Oh, I've crashed a few times today. Oh, I can't believe I made a fool out of myself. It's kind of fine because no one's around. got such controllable power in this nice slow map not in the aggressive map unless you're a, a crazy person I wouldn't recommend it Talk on this thing. Wow. Oh.
going the wrong way then. It's hard work. Oh really? Oh yeah. This is uh, already harder than what we did this morning. Wow. Oh. Tried to be clever, wasn't. <laughs> Are we going all the way up there? I wonder. Oh, it's harder in the afternoon because you're tired as well. So we just gotta get our energy levels up and go for it. This is uh, pretty difficult, but we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm just out of breath. I can't really talk that much. <laughs> oh. I thought like those wide open spaces would be better on a four stroke, and this is more two stroke terrain really. But it's holding up well. Just a little bit responsive on the throttle. It's a little bit scary when you accidentally get a bit of whiskey throttle. Wow, look at this. strokes see they stall they do stall a lot easier my two strokes I say mine it wasn't mine but that didn't stall at all it was amazing I'm just so not used to a four stroke I think that's the main thing it's just completely different power delivery on this thing Wow. There is people everywhere. All over the mountains there's people. It's crazy. Got this loose rock. It's quite difficult to navigate.
But that loose rock is something else. Yeah. Something else, isn't it? They're big as well. I know. That loose rock is horrible, isn't it? What's going on here? Someone come off. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that way looked all right. <laughs> you okay, mate? This is something else, this. I can size that. Wow. Okay, we made it out alive, boys. <laughs> it's got good traction, this. Good talk. These are huge. Wow, they're big. Okay? It's hard work, isn't it? Hold on. Ah, oh, stalled. Clutch hand. Oh, uh, it's given up. Where are they going? Way up. I think the clutch is too far out. Well, that way or that way? I think round is it? Okay, we're going to take this nice and gentle. <laughs> Why are you there? <laughs> That's the wrong place. 
So far on 350, yeah, it's an awesome bike, but it's kind of put me off. <laughs> Especially, I mean, maybe the older generation wasn't as insane, but this one is, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite rapid, this one. It's a bit of a handful. A little bit scary, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, it's quite scary. There's a lot of people that would love this bike, but I'm thinking like what we've ridden today, the two-stroke just, oh, it just, it felt a lot smoother. The clutch was definitely lighter than this. This clutch feels really, really stiff, like heavy. So it makes your arms quite tired. So when I was going up that rocky hill, I just gave up on my clutch finger and just tried to torque it through. Yeah! <laughs> These kids are so much fun. They love it. But see, the Roof of Africa race comes through all these kind of parts, so they're used to it, but they do love to see the bikes. Let's try this quick shifter. Ooh, smooth. Look at these huts, so cool. Donkey! I do feel sorry for some of these animals out here, but I guess it's the way of life, isn't it? They need the animals to work out here. There's no machines or anything. enjoying Africa with me uh, it's amazing an experience the bikes we're getting to ride is ridiculous like brand new 2024 before they've even been launched like they haven't even been released for sale yet so riding them is definitely quite cool to be able to test it obviously I'm not the best rider but I think that's kind of what they wanted they wanted just a normal everyday guy to try and ride on and see how it feels for the mass market and yeah if you're a fast rider get the four stroke if you're not get the two stroke hello It's in the middle of a village somewhere. God, look at these rocks. It's so loose. Just got to kind of put it in third and just go. Do you know what the weirdest thing about this 350 is the vibration on this is worse than the two-stroke. And that's, that's got to be a first. That's got to be a first. 
Those two strokes are insane. I thought I'd really enjoy the four stroke. I mean, it's a nice bike, but I don't think I'll buy one now. I think the 250 might surprise me there if I get a chance to have a go on it. <laughs> Hello! These villages are so cool. That's all they want is a wave. That's it, that's all they want. And look where they are, look where they are in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> like I'm concentrating on riding so much because this is an absolute animal. And when I stop, like just on this like little chill bit, I go, oh yeah, I'm riding in Africa. Because the two stroke, I felt like I was way more comfortable on that I could just enjoy the ride. And I look around, enjoy the scenery. Maybe it's because of what I'm used to. But with the four stroke, and probably the train as well, it's a lot rockier this time. But I'm just a little bit more cautious. Like it's a bit of a power hungry bike. It likes to go, hey, 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 see ya! No, it's actually, to be fair, this terrain is worse than we were riding this morning. It's way more rocky, which is crazy. Oh yay, lion territory. Nice. Oh. See, that's quite nice. In the technical stuff, it actually does really well. But like getting into third, it just wants to go then. Which I don't know why I'm in third. This looks technical. Yeah, they think I'm a pro. <laughs> the place we're going right now, ridiculous. Gonna sit down a little bit until I need to stand up, like now, and just save the energy because it's gonna be a bit of a slog. This one, I mean, it does chug along nicely, but oh, you can feel the weight, you know. Oh, wow. Still going up.
Hold up. It's good everyone else in first because I get to see what lines they're picking. Oh, it's still going. Screw that up. Still going up. Whew. That's it, sit down. <laughs> We're walking up this bad boy. It does chug. Okay. Oh yeah. Whew. I don't know if we're out of it yet, but that was nice. Whew. That was hard. Well, I have no clue what's going on, but no one seems to be changing bikes. So I think I'm stuck with the 350, so. I'm getting a little bit more used to it, I'd say, but still not. And then, whoa, great, these are big rocks. Oh, wow, what a view! Look at that. I think in order to ride the 350, you just need some open stuff, like a bit more faster. Whoa. Like these kind of trails, it's quite nice on. It does well in the slow stuff, it's just, I can feel the weight and I'm used to a light bike. So that's just personal preference, I think. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's mega. Oh. Where are we? What a view that is. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm a little bit scared. We'll see. See what's happening here. Hopefully there's a lot of grip on this stuff. Okay, 
I'm really scared right now, but I'm just gonna concentrate because it's so steep. Okay, that's a bit better. It's so rocky. Whoa. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, look at this. Wow, that's cool. Wow. Oh yeah, eagle. This is so cool. Oh my god, I need to come back to Africa and ride. It's mega. Uh, uh, wow. That's insane. I know it's just a rock, but wow. This doesn't look fun. Is there a better place to cross than that? That looks horrible. <laughs> no. <sighs> that was nice and refreshing. I had to go in, didn't I? God damn it. <sighs> Whoa. Wow. I must have burnt about 20,000 calories today. So I'm on a, a good mission to lose weight here. I don't know about that.
I made one! I made one! Finally! <laughs> oh no! Yeah! <laughs> That's quite deep, that. Oh, he good. That's class. Whoa. Don't want to fall down there. Wow. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was extremely scary. There's a big drop to my right, which you couldn't see, but. Uh, get me home already, I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs>